Hi Felters and welcome. So today we're going to make this greyhound that I made for my daughter's birthday. I'm fairly happy with the body. The head I wasn't 100% happy but we'll still go through it and let's show you there's a lot of proportion work and things like that. So I've done the wire armature already just to save a bit of time. I have a video on wire armature and I've printed this picture out afterwards just to check the shapes because greyhound legs are very particular with the shapes especially of the back legs. So this picture is a little bit smaller but you can still get a rough idea and just to see if the head and neck are tall enough as well. So I was quite happy with that. Just to go through the measurements if you want to make a greyhound the same size it is 7 inches from nose to to the bottom and then the legs are four inches high and then the distance between the front legs five and a half really so it's probably five further up the back but five and a half because the greyhound's legs come out behind them so let's cover up the body with some core wool So as you'll notice, I have built up underneath the back because if you continue wrapping around, your back is going to end up too high. So I built up underneath. Now I am using this white New Zealand carded wool, which is a really lovely white colour from Crafty Fibres UK, who I worked with in my last video. And it's a really good carded wool. I've been really happy with it. I do have a 10% discount code in the description below. But um, we're just covering up the body. Some of the white uh, might show. I don't know where the markings are going to go. I'm still looking at my picture just to get an idea. And here we go with some more proportion checks. So the distance for the depth of the body is exactly half of the or the same uh, distance uh, or the length of the legs so they are 50 50 so if I take that and then whatever the measurement is for the top of the shoulders down to the feet it should be half where the top the bottom of the chest finishes so I knew I had to build up a bit more under the chest so here we are moving on to the legs now wrapping again I'm using this white New Zealand wool and it wrapped really tightly so you attach at the top and you take a nice thin piece and you wrap it as tightly as you can. I'm using another pad underneath there just to support the leg as I was starting to attach it. Um, and then here we are on a front leg. Again, can you see how thinly I'm wrapping it round? Thinner is better and if it's thinner then you can add a little bit more and legs and wrapping things like this it does take practice and you will get better at it every time you do a felt you improve with the next one and so the wire had a slight bend for the paws at the bottom there so I just wrapped around that and you try and make sure you've got enough just to cover the end of the wire and here we are doing the back leg and building up the muscles at the top we'll have a look at the picture in a minute and you can see see there there's still more to be wrapped around the back leg so we are going to do that we're just going to build up the forearm and then a bit more under the chest
So I just built up the neck and the head, making it a bit more bumpier around the back of the head and the nose a little bit longer and thinner. And then I had to build up a little bit more on the top of the back to give it the rounded look. Now, this is the first colour I tried. Um, the My daughter's room colour is going to be grey. This grey was too light, so I had to move to this is an acrylic tops that I used for my uh, vegan wools video. And as you can see, that was too light. So this grey um, was much, much better. But because it's a tops, I had to card it myself. So it's a grey acrylic tops from World of Wool. Um, so I gently carded it and that makes it so much easier to apply. You get little balls sometimes when you're carding, but um, yeah, you have to do quite a bit of needlework just to get it all nice and smooth. So there we are, you can see that um, I've sort of managed to get a nice line going down the leg there and the lower half of the leg's going to be white. It's up to you what patterns you do on your greyhound. And then I built up all over the neck and onto the head. I think I built up a bit too much around the head and I had to lay some white on top. So I decided to have white down the chest and that white carded wool worked really well. I thought it you know, it might show through a bit, but it didn't. And then I've done a point going backwards where the eyes are going to be. The nose had to be a bit longer proportion wise. The nose, um, the head was a quarter of the size of the body when I measured it out. So that was another thing for proportion wise. The head had to be four centimetres and the body was 16. Um, and I measured that from the picture just to work it all out. So I took some wool and uh, felted it a bit and then you felt it onto the nose just to make it a bit longer and we needed it a bit thinner. And then I worked out where the eye position was and I poke it through to get the eye on the other side so that it's nice and level. And then mark it with the needle, you get your owl and you'll make the hole. I put the owl in when I take the, the um, eye out to put the glue on the back of it just to keep the hole open. And the eyes are pointing backwards quite a lot on this because if they were pointing inwards they would meet, the backs of them would meet. Now I started doing the nose with just some black um, carded wool and then realised I'd ordered some noses a while ago to try. So I got one of those out, had to get the owl, you had to be quite vicious, or sorry the awl, I should say it properly, pushing it in. But I got the nose in and it worked quite well. The um, nose is just off um, Etsy and then I did a little mouth and a black line leading down to it and some grey by the eyes. So I'm... Um, I wasn't sure whether the head was quite right, but anyway. So with the paws, I've just done some lines going down just to represent toes. Because it was so small, to put black lines on it would, is really tricky. The tail worked brilliantly. So this is a pipe cleaner and you just take the tops and wrap it around. And it, it goes so tight and so smooth. So doing a nice thin tail this way it works really well, like if you're doing mice or something. Um, if you get a tops... It works so well and it, it literally, you probably don't even have to felt it much, but um, it stays on and it's really thin and always give it a little wrap, um, a little roll between your hands. So this is me attaching the tail. I had to put quite a bit on just to stop the ridge line showing quite so much. Um, but that's how the greyhound tail sits and I was really happy with that and with the shape. So we're going to do a bit of muscle definition now. Okay, on to the ears. So I took some carded wool, <clears throat> I shaped it into a triangle and it um, felted very flat, very thin. Um, make sure you keep turning it on the mat. Ears always get stuck to the mat. It's a common question. Um, 
but you just keep turning it, keep peeling it off gently and then um, eventually it works really well and then sometimes I take a finer needle towards the end and just to try and do the edges standing up very slightly, it wasn't too hard. So I took the ear and I squished it together and then you had to point them backwards, they're a bit tricky, you have to look at the picture and this one I put on, I put on slightly wrong, um, I think I pull it off in a second, I wasn't happy with it. Um, you have to sort of fold them over and they have to be pointing backwards. Yeah, there you go. So I've pulled it off and put the start of it underneath a bit more. And then, because the, they're greyhounds and they're sleek. And even in a minute, I push the ears back downwards because they shouldn't be on top of the head. They should be sort of behind the head. So they were a bit tricky. But uh, once you get them, they're okay. So there we go. He's all done. And my daughter was very happy. So she was very good. <laughs> she she thinks he's lovely. Um, so the head, yeah, it could have a bit more definition on it. But the rest of the body is not too bad. And it's nice. I think it's because I quite like horses. So it's a bit like doing a thoroughbred almost doing a, a greyhound. But it's good proportion work. She loves my daughter loves greyhounds. She's got even got racing greyhounds along her window. Um, and she got lots of other little greyhound presents. So thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care everybody.